Hello everyone, this is the North America Mexican. Let's go, go, go. This week we are going to talk about another problem. Look at this. So to do that, we first need to determine a general range for it. So since we know that it has to be moved like either this or this, the range can only be at here for maximum. See? This range. Why can he only work in this range? Because if he walks to some other places, such as here, he will never be able to be back. Okay, so after we have identified, so for example, if he walks here, let's assume for all three steps he walks right, then he only arrives here instead of here, and he, is, he cannot be back. So, therefore, um, so therefore, let's start. Uh, by calculating them. So assume that there is one way for here. There are one way to get here, and there are one way to get here. And then there's one way to get here, there's one way to get here. So there are two ways to be here. There's one way to be here, and there's one way to be here. There's one way to be here, so there should be three ways to be here. There should also be three ways to be here. And then we know that since there's three ways to be here and there is three ways to be here, there are altogether six ways to get to here. There are one ways to get here, there are three ways to get here, so there should be four ways to get here. This is there are three ways to get here. So from here we know there are still three ways. Okay. So we know that there are nine ways to get here, ten, nineteen ways, and then nine ways. So the total is twenty-eight. So, in all, so in all, there are twenty-eight ways to get to here altogether. So therefore, we get to the final answer of twenty-eight, which is A. Here we come to the end of our lesson, and I hope you have learned a lot. See you next week. Bye.